This video is about payback period. What do you mean by payback period? Every time you invest in a project, you'd like to know how long would it take to get your money back. And this what do you mean by payback period? Which means how long it will take in order to get our money back. So in order to calculate payback period, we could have one of either way. Either to use a formula, which is very shortcut, very easy formula, or we could use a table. But in order to use the shortcut, the formula, the easy formula, you must have one condition, which is you must receive equivalent periodic cash flow, which means you must receive the same number every period. If the numbers are different, you cannot use the formula. Then you should use the table. Therefore, we can use the table either with equivalent or different periodic cash flows. And that's why you can use the table with all scenarios. You can use formula only if you have equivalent periodic cash flow. So let's start with the table. We will have the same example, which means we have years from zero to three, and then we have our free cash flow. In year zero, we have initial investment of 100. We put negative because it's cash outflow. In year one, we receive 40 million. In year two, we receive 40 million. In year three, we receive 40 million. And then we have a cumulative free cash flow. We need to add them up. So in year zero, we have negative 100. In year one, we will receive 40 million. So I'll say that negative 100 plus 40, it will give us cumulative free cash flow of negative 60. Then in year two, we receive another 40 million. So I'll say negative 60 plus 40, it will give us negative 20. And then in year three, we receive another 40 million. So to be negative 20 plus 40, it will give us 20 million. Then I would like to know, where is our last negative cumulative free cash flow? It will be negative 20. This is at which year? Year two. What will be our next free cash flow? It will be 40. Therefore, our payback period formula is, what is the number of years that we have our last negative cumulative free cash flow? It's two. Plus, get our last negative cumulative free cash flow, it's negative 20. And then you use absolute value. What do you mean by absolute value? Remove the negative sign. Divided by our next free cash flow, which is 40. So this will give us two plus 20 over 40, which is two plus half. So this will give us 2.5 years. It means that in this example, it will take us two and a half years in order to get our money back. So, if we talk about the formula, we said that with the formula we must have equivalent periodic cash flow. If you look at this example from year one, two, and three, we will have the same cash flow, which is 40 million every year. Therefore, I can use the formula. So what will be the formula of our payback period? It will be our initial investment without the negative sign divided by our equivalent periodic cash flow, which is C. Therefore, I would say that my initial investment here is 100 million divided by our periodic cash flow, which is the same every year is 40. So 100 divided by 40, it will give us 2.5 years, which is exactly the same number that we got from the table. So remember, the formula could... 